Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install TensorFlow 2 on a Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, but this will work for a Raspberry Pi 2 all the way to 4. I'm going to SSH first into my Raspberry Pi. If you do not want to SSH into yours and you're using a display, that's just fine. Um, to get to the same point as I am, just open up a terminal and you're there. Okay, first things first, create a virtual environment. I like using virtual environments for package management in Python just because it keeps packages that shouldn't be together away from each other. To do that, I'm going to first make my project directory in my desktop. Let's call it make directory TensorFlow Pi. Change directory into that directory. And now you might not have virtual env installed. Uh, we're going to install that. I already have it installed. But for, the, for those of you who do not have it installed, Python 3 m pip install virtual env. All right. Next, we want to activate our virtual env and create it. So to do that, virtual env, env, and then env. I can call this anything, my env, whatever. Uh, I'm going to call it env. Finished. Now we have to activate the env that we created. To do that, we'll call source, name of the virtual environment, bin activate. Now we have this little env right here, which means we are good to go. Okay, first things first, we're gonna be following along with part of the instructions from this GitHub user. So I'll link to that and also these commands in the description below. First command that we should run is right here, copy, paste. Uh, so I do not wanna run sudo here. It installs outside of my virtual environment, which I do not want. Uh, maybe that's what you want. And also, I don't have pip3 set up. I have it set up my pip. If I want to run pip for Python 3, I run, I type Python 3-m pip. Longer, I know, but I'm too lazy to set it up. And then the command. Now we're going to do this for everyone here all the way until this guy. And then we'll change a couple things. Python 3-m pip. Python 3-m pip. Okay, right here, when I use the dash dash user, I get an error. So I just remove it. I don't really know what's going on with that, but for some reason it works. Uh, feel free to tell me in the comments if you know why. Right here, we're going to diverge a little bit. 2.1.0 version of TensorFlow requires a higher version of SciPy than we can get. So what we're going to do is go to releases for TensorFlow on the ARM architecture and get TensorFlow 2.0.0 for Python 3.7. That's what I'm running. And how we do that is we go to this one. Even though it says doesn't say Raspberry Pi 4, it still works for Raspberry Pi 4. Um, Here's the wheel file. We'll copy the link address. Then type wget that link address to get the wheel file. So we've got the wheel file. 
Now we want to uninstall any versions of TensorFlow that we already have so we can upgrade. To do that, Python 3 M uninstall pip uninstall pip uninstall TensorFlow. Okay, so I don't have TensorFlow installed already, which makes uh, makes that command unnecessary, but you might have TensorFlow installed, which would make that command necessary if you wanted to prevent any conflicting versions. Um, in the virtual environment, if you don't already have TensorFlow installed, don't worry about that command. And now right here, I'm gonna copy the name of the wheel file that we downloaded for TensorFlow 2.0 and install it just like I would any other Python package. Python 3 pip install, name of that wheel file. Now we have to restart our terminal to, oops, wrong command, exit. SSH back in. If you're using a display, just click the X on your terminal, open up a new terminal window. Now we have to get to our virtual environment and activate it. So I'm gonna change my directories into that one. And now we go source, env, bin, activate again. Now, little env, we're in our virtual environment. Python 3 to get to our Python interpreter. Moment of truth. All right. Now let's check what version of TensorFlow we have installed. 2.0.0. Happy coding.